Hi guys, welcome to a new video. All right, so we're gonna talk today about the pros and cons of commuting on a motorcycle. And for me, there's some obvious pros and some obvious cons. I'm just gonna go over the ones that I feel like are the most important. So obviously, get this out of the way, the most important pro is that gas price, right? Gas prices on motorcycles for the most part, nine times out of 10, gas prices on a bike are going to be much more sustainable much cheaper you're going to get way better gas mileage on a bike compared to like for me for instance this is a 2021 uh klx 300 uh 2022 sorry klx 300 sm it gets about 65 miles per gallon my uh, 2021 ford ranger gets about 23 or so um, on the roads that i personally commute on and so you're looking at like almost triple the gas uh, mileage you're gonna get on a bike like this. You know, if you go up to like a like a 1000 Super Sport or something like that, you're gonna lose gas mileage. Obviously, I have a GSXR 750 that gets about probably 35, maybe 40. If I'm really just like cruising on the highway, I might get 40, but 35 is pretty pretty reasonable um, claim for me. So obviously gas prices are like super stupid, stupid high right now. At least down here in Florida, gas prices are like sitting around four, just over four bucks a gallon right now. When about less than two years ago, they were like just over two bucks. So it's almost doubled in two years, which uh, we're not even gonna go into that. I think most people would agree on me what the cause of that is. <laughs> so anyways, uh, let's talk about some other things. So. For a pro, that's a pro, huge pro. I will say that like riding my truck, going home, it's a lot more comfortable. Obviously you're sitting in the AC, you're listening to music. You can, you know, I know it's frowned upon, but you can text, uh, text your wife at home, give her a little heart face <laughs> when you're at stoplights. Okay, I'm not, I'm not encouraging texting and driving, but when you're at a stoplight, I think, I think it's fair. Um, and so, yeah, so it's just more comfortable being in a, in, a, on a, in a vehicle with actual AC or heat, depending on the day. Uh, and then obviously you got your, you know, your music you can listen to, yada yada. You can use phone navigation, yada yada. On a bike, it's very hard to do any of those things. So a con, obviously the biggest con for me is gonna be the danger factor. I've been riding bikes for, I guess, going on 16 years on the street. I started riding when I was 18. A lot of you know the backstory on that. My dad actually gave me my first bike when I was 18. And so I've been riding on the street for about 16, uh, I guess 16 years roughly. I'm going on 34, man. I'm getting old, but yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. 34 is the new 20. No, nah, it's really not. Not not what my body tells me in the morning. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, so there's definitely the con is that bikes are dangerous. If you get rear-ended or somebody pulls out in front of you in a truck or a car, nine times out of ten, you're going to be all right. On a bike, uh, it's definitely a lot more dangerous situation. Uh, you can end up in... Not only that, but like even going around like corners and stuff, like I could go around this corner, which it's not really a steep corner or anything like that. But if I were to hit sand or gravel or things like that, and I'm in a lean, uh, it, could, it could end very badly. I could low side, whatever. <laughs> All right, I guess that was, I don't know if he was waving to me or what. But yeah, uh, there's obviously some obvious cons as far as, you know, there's other things too, like, uh, you know, visibility. People don't see you as good on a bike. I usually, I tend to ride my high beam on, uh, on this bike and on my GSXR, just because like, I feel like you have better visibility. I'm not saying in, in the, um, at night when it's dark outside, but in the daylight, I feel like riding around with your high beam on gives you better visibility from cars or a mile down the road, a quarter mile down the road. They're trying to pull out. You're trying to go forward. They don't see you. I've even seen bikes down here in Florida riding around with no headlight on, which is, you know, obviously illegal for one, but why would you not want people to see you? There's a reason, there's a law that motorcycles have to have a headlight on even during the day because it's for visibility. So go park your bike a quarter mile down the road 
turn the headlight off and see if you can actually even make it out especially if it's a dark color bike another reason i like my high vis glow in the dark klx <laughs> uh, the visibility visibility is definitely a big factor when i do ride my bike i tend to wear lighter clothing um, things like that i try to wear like high vis like my helmet's high vis uh things like that just try to increase my visibility so going on with the pros pros of riding a bike are riding a bike for one it's a lot easier for me personally to weave in and out of traffic and i'm not saying like illegally weaving but just like making passes um cutting up like getting into the turn lane when there's three cars in front of you i know it may be frowned upon but to me personally i feel like it's safer because you're getting out of the way of people from behind and actually like that's like i think the second highest probability of being hit on a bike is being rear-ended because people don't see you uh, another thing that i do just a little tip here is when i'm sitting at a stoplight i'm always watching my rear view mirror and when i see cars coming up on me i'm tapping my rear brake just to give them a little bit of heads up like hey there is a bike up there or there's something parked up in front of you you cannot go all the way to the light so there's little things that you can do that definitely like lower your probability of actually getting hit but getting hit on a bike is definitely you know obviously one of the the biggest cons there is um weather weather is another con because you like especially here in florida we get pop-up showers just pop up out of nowhere and you could go to work and it's sunny in the morning and then you get off and then boom five o'clock in the afternoon all of a sudden it's a downpour and oh the weatherman said it was 10 percent rain today but now it's a hundred percent it's a hundred percent you're getting screwed <laughs> not that like rainy riding in the rain just isn't fun like i don't think anyone would say that they would prefer riding in the rain versus riding on a sunny bright beautiful day like this if they are they're probably a sadist so yeah so uh going back to the pros there's a lot of pros like i have more fun commuting on my motorcycle like it's just like it's like enjoyable like i love riding i love i love adrenaline to begin with commuting isn't really adrenaline filled but i still get to get my jollies out things like that i might get to like pop a little wheelie every now and then oh my boy he's going fishing uh -huh. and he had his helmet on safety first guys <laughs> but um yeah there's a lot of pros and cons but these are some of the, just the obvious that stick out to me and i've been thinking about doing a video like this because ever since i've gotten this bike you know my jixer my 750 i hate saying the word jixer god it bothers me so much so on my gsxr 750 i have not really got a ton of com comments about commuting but when i bought this uh 2022 kalex 300 sm it, i got a lot a lot of responses like asking me um uh, how it was commuting it and yada yada so i'm thinking i'm like maybe i'm geared more gearing more towards like a commuting class of riders when i make videos with this bike particularly when i make track videos and such on my 750 i feel like no commuters even care to see that which is a shame because track life is so much fun they should just rename it crack instead of track have a crack day instead of a track day so get another shot of this beautiful water god i live in one of the most beautiful places in the united states i'm not trying to brag here but it's true guys florida is where it's at at least for now <laughs> all right so i will say another pro not personally for me because i do insure my motorcycle um especially if you're gonna ride on the street quite a bit you definitely like you should probably have some type of insurance whether it's just regular health insurance or you know automobile insurance but i do insure my bike because theft is a big thing down here obviously well theft is a big thing everywhere but unfortunately florida there's so many bikes that bike theft and just auto theft in general is pretty pretty prominent so yeah so anyways uh, sorry aside from the point my point here was that in florida i know it's kind of gonna sign sound uh, it's gonna sound a little bit silly 
but in Florida, in the state of Florida, you can legally ride a motorcycle on the street, get it tagged, get it registered, without having any insurance on the bike whatsoever. Literally, you can buy a brand new bike, and as long, as long as the the lien holder doesn't require insurance, you can ride it on the street. Now, granted, there are some uh, gray areas there, so like, if you're under 21, you have to have insurance no matter what. To ride without insurance over the age of 21, you have to be wearing a helmet at all times on the bike. And obviously, if you have a passenger, they have to be wearing a helmet as well. I don't really think many people like pay attention to that law because I see so many people down here with like these ratted out, just like these bikes are probably about to blow at any any moment. They're probably running on canola oil. But I see some really raggedy bikes down here, and the dudes will just be like, no helmet, just totally squitting, 100%, no helmet. And it's just like, I know they don't have insurance on that piece of junk. There's no way. Unless it's like $2 a month, maybe. No, I'm just kidding. But there is so many people down here, there are so many people down here that ride without insurance. Which I don't, I don't like... I'm not completely saying that that's a stupid thing to do because I have done it obviously I've done it for you know many years but on a bike that you're gonna have out in the city um, you're gonna have it out around people you're gonna have it out around a lot of traffic like so insurance is definitely a good thing so anyways you can have a, no uh, you can ride without insurance on a bike that's a pro and I guess it could be a con at the same time but also Bike insurance in the state of Florida is ridiculous. Like, okay, so this is a brand new $7,000 motorcycle, and I insure this thing for like, I wanna say it's like 16 bucks a month for like full coverage. This is like, like astronomically low. <laughs> and then Heather has a, uh, my wife has a, obviously she has the 750 as well, but she also has a Z125 which is very similar to the Grom and I, I put her on my policy on that bike and that bike I want to say is like 16 or 15 dollars a month as well it's super super cheap it's, it's like ridiculously cheap and then uh, insurance on like a super sport or something like that depending on which insurance agency you, you go with it's fairly cheap like a 750 or something like that it's gonna run you 80 to 100 bucks a month so yeah guys, I wanted to do a video on this and I also want to get some feedback from some of you. I want to find out what you think are your biggest pros and cons of commuting on a motorcycle, why you do or why you don't. So comment down below guys, thanks for watching, peace, ride safe and we'll see you in the next video.